a little stone I didn't notice this the last time and says near this spot we reinterred the bodies of seven McDonald's of Glencoe killed when attempting to harry Ardvorlich Anno Domini 1620 so some McDonald's of Glencoe have been buried close to here hmm How you doing guys? Welcome back to another wee outing. I'm back at a hill that I've already climbed once before. The last time I was here, three years ago, just over three years ago, I didn't get the second row behind it, purely because the weather. I just thought, there's no point in going there and not getting any views. So today, the weather forecast is a bit better. For the next five hours, then it's meant to change. So I highly anticipate that I might get caught in the rain on the way back down But I'm getting pressed on just now The first Monroe is Ben Borlick sitting at 985 metres high And behind it is Stuka Croin sitting at 975 metres high So yeah, two Monroes in one day Let's get them both done Hopefully And not waste another three years guys I am currently at about well, bang on the 400 meter contour um, I'm going to pack some stuff away get the walking poles out and just crack on to the top of this hill Ben Borlick the first Monroe I don't know if I prefer it in this weather or in the last weather that was here because today I can see the summit and I know exactly how far I've got to walk whereas last time it was hidden by the clouds so you didn't have that, uh, that daunting task or that daunting view in front of you but yeah, the view at this point back down to Loch Erne is absolutely stunning. Um, this is this is a cracking viewpoint on the whole hill. But yeah, the cloud is starting to roll in. Like I said, the weather's meant to get bad about three o'clock, four o'clock. So I'm going to crack the walking poles out and get this one bagged. So I've got a good chance of getting stuck a crown, which is the main objective for today. So I will see you at the top of Ben Vorlich. As you can see behind me, that is the summit of Ben Vorlick. I didn't hang around too long because I wanted to go and get stuck a croin in the bag. Uh, the weather is to come on, as I keep saying, by about three o'clock. The time is now 10 to 1, so I've got two hours to get myself up to the top of Stuka Croin. And like I say, I don't want to waste any time, so I'm just pressing on. The views from up there are absolutely lovely. I have got a bit of lying cloud around the horizon uh, so there's not much in the way of a uh, great distance views but it doesn't take away from the classic Scottish misty hills but yeah this is the main focus of today stick a croin let's get this one done So that's me now at the lowest point uh, It's a bit boggy down here Lowest point on the Bielich between Ben Wallach and Stuka Croin 
it's uh, as I said, the weather's meant to come in at three o'clock. But as always, you can never trust the weather report because that is it starting to come down. This is really boggy here, but yeah, ah, thought I was going to dodge it. No such luck. I just doubled back on myself. Ah, here we go. So to get onto the, the kind of tops of Stuka Croin, there are two options when you're down at the Bielik. You can either go up the face or the rock face here, that's no, just known as the face, um, which is to the left, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. But there's also a route on the right hand side, I see somebody coming down at the moment, which is known as the tourist route. So it's like more of a, a formed path. But because the weather's holding just now, that rain hasn't fully formed. I'm going to tackle the face and make this a bit more interesting. This is not the summit of we'll Stuka Croin. That's over there. That's 951 meter point, just as I've come up the face. That was fun. Whew. <clears throat> there was, excuse me, a couple of wee bits on there that were, uh, as you can see, you are almost on all fours having to pull yourself up and scramble up through the wee gaps. There's a couple of bits walking around the side where you've got a sheer drop to your right and you've just got a wall next to you only for a short distance but there's enough there just to make it interesting so if you want to do then for like it's took a croin and tackle the face and you're confident in your footwork and you're not scared of heights i would say give that a bash i'm going to press on now i've got about another 20 odd meters climb me go and that'll be me at the summit Yes, three years, three years in the making, stick a croin with no number, I'm sure it's number 10, in the bag. 
Ho ho! I think I've just got it. As you can see behind me, Ben Volick has now got the cloud resting on the top. That was completely clear when I was at the summit. So this cloud is descending. And as I look in the direction of where the cloud's coming from, it's starting to settle and you can see the hills are dis disappearing. So I think my plan was to sit up here and have a brew, try out my new stove. My God, those clouds have literally just covered that whole mountain. My plan was to sit up here, get a brew on with my new stove, enjoy the views. The rain has held off. That wee shower down there wasn't too much, but I'm not going to stick around. I'm going to get my waterproof jacket on and go off the summit because this cloud is coming down fast. Ben Volley's pretty much disappeared. So there we go guys, stick a croin from Ben Volick via the face, absolutely brilliant. Typical Scottish weather with a bit of wind and the clouds skirting across the summits. But yeah, another cracking day on the hills. And yeah, this is picking up now. I'm not putting the drone up, excuse me, I just spat. I'm not putting the drone up because I reckon if I put it up in here, that'll be an aardvolic and about three minutes flat and I'll have to find it, which is a shame. Woo! This is cracking. So guys, this is me now on the Bielach between uh, Ben Volick and Stuka Croin. Like I say, I came down the tourist route, which is just up there. You can see it carved into the side of the hill. Just up here is a scramble that I went up to get the top of Stuka Croin. And behind the camera is Ben Volick. The cloud keeps lifting and lowering, so I don't know what it's doing. That rain hasn't came yet and I'm thinking if it doesn't when I get back to the car I'm going to make that brew and uh, test out my new wee stove when I'm down at the car next to Lock Elm and just chill out and enjoy it so I think I'm going to call that there the end of the vlog I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's giving you a bit of insight into these two Monroes and it just goes to show it might take a wee while before you get some of them done that's three years in the waiting for me to get that, that double Monroe thing bagged. Double Monroe thing. That's a thing. But yeah, two Monroes, brilliant, fun, especially up through the scramble. And I hope you liked it. If you did, give the, the video a wee thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my outings in and around Scotland, near the trip, then subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on another Monroe.